The name of the game, ladies and gentlemen, is stone. And then, you know, after we're done getting some stone, we're going to get some stone. And then we're going to mine some stone. And when we're finished mining that stone, guess what we're going to do? <laughs> you guessed it. Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are picking up pretty much right where we left off. So if you didn't catch the last episode, uh, we're waiting on this iron to finish smelting, and then we're going to convert most of that into steel. Uh, we've got some stone dust cooking up in here. Um, we have concrete blocks and another furnace ready to go in here. And um, the goal for today's episode is to start working on repairing the facility here. So, um, yeah, this is going to be a building episode. Last episode was supposed to be a building episode. It kind of was, but we didn't really get all the way going on it. Uh, so I made another furnace here um, because I want to have a dedicated cement processing thingamadoodle. Now, uh, what's it going to cost to upgrade this? Not really too expensive to do. And I'm assuming that upgrading it will make it go faster. Plus, it gives us two tier two forges, so we could be doing iron in one and steel in another. So we just need a cooking grill and some bricks. So we should have enough stuff to do that. Let's grab a stack of clay here. Oh, yeah, we're super heavy. All right, let me put the concrete blocks in here for now. The artisan bench is outside of the range of the broadcasting, so that's why i got to carry this stuff over here. Uh, so what we want to do is... Oh, no, we make bricks in the in the furnace, right? I think we do, actually. We'll probably make them even straight up in here. Yeah, we can. Okay. So, um, all right, we need a brick mold. Okay, so here, let's stop that. Grab these ingots and not be able to do a doggone thing with them because they're too heavy. Ooh, I still can't move. It's because I got all this clay in my inventory. Okay, here, let's do this. Grab the brick mold. Yeah, that's a plate mold. That's a brick mold. And actually, mm, no, never mind. I want to. I want to upgrade this. Do we? Uh, we don't have another bellows. I don't think we have another bellows. Do we have another bellows? If we did, it would be probably in here. Or can we make a bellows? We actually can't. So yeah, we'll have to be on the lookout for a bellows. Uh, maybe we can just buy one from the from the trader. So yeah. We need, once again, 60 bricks. Why don't we... No, I'm going to make them in here because I want to get that other other guy going on uh, steel for us. Okay, so let's craft that. We need also need fuel. Let's just do all these broken planks for now. I know I can turn them into normal planks, but they're more valuable to me as, as fuel right now. Okay, so that'll make the bricks that we need to upgrade this. And then we also need a cooking grill, which I think we can just make in there. Um, oh, I might have some spare cooking grills in here. Yeah, I do. Look at that. Look at that. All right. So we got that taken care of. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is let's grab all of the uh, iron. At, well, here, let's actually grab all of this stuff. Can I reach over here? Yeah. Let's put the iron back in there. We can put the clay back in here now. We want to put the duct tape in the parts bin. I'll just hang on to that for a moment because we're going to use it in a second here. And let's go back to here. And now we want to make steel ingots out of iron and clay. We can make a total of 631. Now, I don't want to burn up all the iron. So why don't we make 500? Okay, so that's going to need 12 minutes of burn time, and that gives 15, 
1246. Yeah, that's an, just enough. Okay, cool. So we got that going. How are we doing on the bricks? A little over halfway there. And then what this guy's going to do once we get it upgraded is it's going to be dedicated. Well, its primary purpose is going to be to make cement for us, but we might use it, you know, for other stuff too, of course. There's no reason why we can't do that. Very good. All right. So if you didn't catch the last episode, we decided, well, I decided on during that episode that we're going to start on this corner of the building. It's a little less work than the other corner that we'll eventually do as well. And we also decided that we're going to start from the the bottom floor, the, well, the bottom floor that's in, that's still intact and work, and build our way up rather than restore this floor first. <clears throat> okay? So that's the plan. Uh, for all of that stuff. And we got our bricks. Let's turn that off. And we should be able to now upgrade this. We just need to put a hammer in our hands. That's going to be here. Workstation is not empty. There we go. All right, nice. Now we have two tier two furnaces. It's a beautiful thing. Um, we can just keep this in here for now, I suppose. No reason not to, right? Uh, let's put that in there. Now, your job, my friend, is to make cement like crazy. So we're going to need all that stuff. We also need sand to make the concrete mix itself. So you're still working on that. Okay. So I, I left half that sand in there, so yeah, that should be good. All right. Start making cement, man. There we go. Okay. I think we are ready to uh, start working on upgrading. So let's grab, let's grab half of these concrete blocks just because they're so heavy. Well, can we carry all of them? Yeah, we can carry all of them. Never mind. We're good. Okay, we'll carry all of them. I'm going to have a hobo stew. That'll top off our food and our water, and we'll be in good shape nutrition-wise. Uh, we got the Valkyrie. We got some gas to use the Valkyrie for breaking stuff up. And, yeah, I think we're good. All right, so let's head on down here. Um... We should probably take the safe way down, which means we're going to go down the stairs. And we get to those from over here. You know, it, you know what would actually be beneficial? I said we're going to start from the ground, the bottom up, and we will, but having a pathway through here is going to save us some time. So let's actually make that first. All right, so we're going to bust out all these small ones. I can't, yeah, I can't upgrade those and make them whole again, so. Oh, wow, that's only 500 anyway. I thought that would be a 5,000 concrete block. Can't quite reach that one. Okay, this isn't going to take as long as I thought it was. Well, what is this then? That wants steel plating. But it's only 500 hit points? No, that one's 5,000. Oh, I wonder if it's because they were they're partial partial blocks. I'll bet you that's what it is. Okay. Uh, do I have any concrete mix left? I do. Let's grab that as well. Whoops. Keep missing the entryway here. Yeah, it'll it'll be worth our while to to be able to just come around this corner. So we are gonna take take the time to to fix this up first. So I'm just really going to go two blocks to do that. Uh, two blocks out from the wall. Son of a beech nut. All right. Little more carefulness here, OG. Can I get to that? Yeah. 
without busting the other one. Um, alright, this... here, yeah, let's do this. Alright, this is no longer needed. Interesting. It never even occurred to me that they'd have to use the triangle pieces to get that at an angle. Okay. So we just have a couple of s spots there that we have. Or actually, just one spot. Can I hit this right on the very corner? Yep. I think I nicked the other one, but that's okay. Excuse me, gazoon tight. There we go. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so now we have an easy pathway to come through here <clears throat> to get over here. I got a freaking frog in my throat, man. Um, just for some symmetry, let's just finish out this portion too. There we go. All right. And then we'll worry about the rest of that when we get up this high. I am planning on uh, painting these two, in case you're wondering. Uh, but I'm not going to do that yet. I want to get the structure fixed first, and then we can do the painting later. Very good. All right. Now, we need to get down there. How are we doing over here, though? You're almost done. And you have about four, a little over four minutes left. Fantastic. Okay. Let's put that stuff in there. Um, I'm going to actually take a few boards with me down there because we might need them for repairing. Let's take some scrap iron. We got concrete. A couple of things of iron plating as well. All right. <clears throat> Let's just wait for this to finish at least. That way we can turn this thing off and it's not just burning, generating heat for no reason and burning fuel for no reason. And we'll take this over here and... Start making some more concrete. That's good. And you still have about three minutes or so left. Tell you what, I'm going to cut the camera, wait for this to finish, so I can get it started making steel plating, which we're going to need. And then I'll meet you guys down there, and we'll get started with that part of the cleanup and construction. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I've got 250 uh, steel plating being made up in there. And we need the steel plating for a variety of things, some repairs, some upgrades, that kind of thing. Um, and, yeah, I think we're ready to head on down now to the that floor down there, whatever floor that happens to be, and get started with the cleanup. So we're going to use the stairwell. And... I guess we should probably think about repairing this too. We're not the, the only place we wouldn't fully repair it is at the very bottom. Um because oh, oh man, I didn't break anything. <laughs> um just because you know there we're not going to need um uh, we're not going to let the zombos just come straight up the stairs, right? Uh, so let's go to stairs, and what we might do just for the halibut is a railed stair and just do one. We don't need a double wide stair. Just trying to figure out which one I like the most. That has a metal railing. That has a hollow railing. What's the difference between... Uh, 
Okay, so that one looks like that. Hmm. And this one looks like that. I don't see a difference. All right, let's put that one there. And this one here. They look exactly the same. I don't know. That one says hollow. Does it mean the... I don't know what that means. Okay. So, yeah, we'll probably go ahead and repair the stairwell, but places that we need to put stairs in like this, I, I think I'm just going to do a single wide stairs. There's no, it doesn't have to be double. There's no reason to make it double for us. I mean, we're not going to really be using it that uh, that much anyways. Okay, so let's take this now, and we're going to go copy shape and copy rotation. And we'll put that there. one in there and ideally we should probably have a rail there too but I'm not gonna worry about that too terribly much okay so we'll copy this shape and what in the hell how'd you get upside down you're killing me man All right, what if we do an on face? No, that's not the way I wanted you to go. All right, we're going to have to do advanced rotation and just get it the right direction. That is really weird that that went upside down. I don't know why it did that. There we go. All right, so you go there and you go there. Okay, copy shape, copy rotation. There we go. This, uh, this is all intact up to the roof. Uh, we are gonna be making use of the roof too, you know, for um, for a garden and a helicopter landing pad and all that stuff that, you know, you need to have when you have a, an in-game base here in Undead Legacy. All right. We still need to go down a couple more floors, right? Yeah. Two more at least, it looks like. Okay, so the stairwell's intact down to here. Now we have to fix it here. Those two blocks can go there. And then we'll go back to these, this stair, whatever. I don't know. Doesn't, can't tell the difference. If you guys know the difference between those two stairs, let me know, because I'm curious. Acquiring old guy minds want to know. Okay, this looks good. That door is locked. Oh, this is our working vending machine, too. Fantastic, right. Um, I want some of this stuff, but I don't have any money on me, so I'll have to come back to it later. Is this... Okay, wait a minute. Where are we at? <clears throat> In relation to... That's the elevator shaft. So the ruined corner of the building should be over that way. 
I think maybe we have to go around to get to there. Yeah, okay. All right, so I think this is where we start because this floor is intact. Did we ever check this? Yeah, we did. Very good. All right, so the first order of business is to clear all of this rubble out of the way. That looks better. All right. Now, next thing is remove all of the destroyed blocks. I do plan on um, restoring the windows too, but I'm not going to do that right now. I want to get the... I want to get the blocks in place first. So basically we'll do structure, in other words, blocks first to get all that fixed. Then we'll probably do maybe windows and then we'll paint to get everything fully restored. Okay, I think that removes all of the of those blocks. So now what we want to do is I have to make sure I'm following the pattern here, right? So we know that this is just going to be a square block like all the way up. Okay. But what we want to do is... Is this a... That's a square block, right? Yeah. Okay. So this is... One, two, three, four... Five, six. So we need to make sure we need to bring this up six blocks to get to the next floor. Okay, so there's two there three, four, five, and six. And that should bring that up to this floor here, right? Um. Can I reach over there far enough to get uh, this started here? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. All right. Now let's do the same thing on that side. I'm making this up as we go, guys. <laughs> I haven't really, I haven't really thought about this ahead of time. I just, we're just doing it, right? So we can come out here a fair ways, uh, maybe even all the way. But those blocks are going to have to go. What is the mass for these? It is 120, and a load is 10. So yeah, we can, we can actually go 12 blocks out before this collapses. Um, so there we go. Okay. So that part's done. It's a beautiful thing. Oh yeah. We did want to get rid of this. So these half blocks here, I believe, represent the indentations in the building. But wait a minute. If that's a half block there, though, yeah, this is 
This is supposed to be a full block going up, right? Because that's this one here. Right, okay, so we should be able to do this. And it looks like there are half blocks above the windows. So if we go copy shape and copy rotation. Oh no, that actually needs to go the other way. Direct. Wait, does it? Hold on. Yes. So we need to copy this rotation. There we go. That's looking about right. Okay, so the assumption then is that we follow that same pattern all the way to the edge. Hmm. Okay, so it looks like the corners our whole blocks that come in. Let's confirm that by looking at the other corner of the building too, just to make sure. Yep, same thing. Okay. Uh, we need to get all this crap out of here too. No, oh, that didn't take long. <laughs> that was easy enough. You know, it probably would be handy to have a doorway going into this site. I'm thinking. Where's the best place to do that doorway? How about right here? That works. Okay, so... That means, then, that we need to half block up here and here, and then full block up in these two spots. I believe that's what we got to do. All right, so let's copy rotation. And we're going to have to nerd pull up to do this. Okay. And then copy rotation. There we go. Go back to full blocks here. Graphical glitch. I'll bet you if we set another one down next to it, it'll fix it. Yep. Okay. I believe we've done that correctly. Okay, now... We want to copy shape and copy rotation. Nope, 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 nope. Copy rotation. And then, wait a second. Yeah. But. Oh, right. Okay, so here, let's do this first. Uh, copy rotation. That's got to go up, too. Why does it keep doing that? Go here. No. Like that. Like this. Um. What the hell, man? Okay, here. This is another outer section. So here, let's do this one too. Copy rotation. Yeah, that one worked.
Okay. So why, when I do a copy rotation on this block, does it go flat? That doesn't make sense. It should not be doing that. All right, let's do copy shape. There it goes. I think. Is that where we want that? Yeah. That's kind of a weird paint thingy, but whatever. Okay, and we're out of concrete blocks, so that's as much as we were able to get done on this first of many Deshong Tower restoration videos. Cool. All right, so let's um, let's go back up topside and see what we got for steel. We'll just go up the stairwell since we got it set up. Oh, I want to come back down here too and get some candies. Let's do that first just so I don't forget. What might be useful is if we pop the hole into the elevator shaft to get back up more quick. Well, it doesn't matter. You know, the thing is, is we're restoring these floors, but it's not like we're going to be spending a lot of time down there once they are restored. So, yeah, we're just kind of doing it for fun. For funsies. That's a good reason to do it. If you ask me. Okay, so we'll grab a little bit of dineros there. And let's head on back down to the vending machine and get the stuff we want out of it. So we'll get that taken care of. But I've mentioned this before, but my plan is this is going to be our kitchen because I, I really like this kitchen. I think it's really cool the way it's laid out. And then this is going to be our our bedroom because I, I like the bed up on the platform there. And I know it's got a kitchen in here too, but. And I guess this will be our, maybe this will be our bathroom. I'll redo this so that there's an actual doorway through here. And then I don't. I don't know what we'll do over here. This might end up being like our crafting room or something. I haven't decided that yet, so... Oh, we're going this way. <clears throat> Should be fun. All right, let's see. We want eye candy. We want peas. Skull crusher, sugar butts. I don't think miso's used in any recipes. Chicken soup. That's used in a recipe, isn't it? Pretty sure it is. And tuna is used in a recipe. Don't think the rest of that stuff is used in a recipe. Chicken soup. Oh, it's not. There are no recipes for chicken soup. All right, well, here. Let's just eat it then. Om nom nom. Okay, cool. It's nice to have a vending machine just a few floors down from our place of residence. It's a beautiful thing. So we should have 250 of these. Let's put those in there. And we got a couple of things to put away. All right. So we have 207 more concrete mix. So what I want to do uh, is... Go here, concrete blocks, 94. Let's make, I want to keep some concrete, so let's make 70 more of these. Okay. Actually, I'm going to keep that money on me. I should keep it in the bike is what I should do. All right. So... The name of the game, ladies and gentlemen, is stone. And then, you know, after we're done getting some stone, we're going to get some stone. And then we're going to mine some stone. And when we're finished mining that stone, guess what we're going to do? <laughs> you guessed it. We're going to mine some more stone. Uh, because we need a metric butt ton of stone in order to make the concrete that we need to make. So, what that means, I believe, is... That I'm going to go back down into the mine 
and start heading in a different direction from where the metal deposits are and just grab a crap ton of, you guessed it, stone. Uh, so that we can continue, you know, working on this. But hey, that looks pretty good, though. We, we made pretty good progress so far on restoring that. It's already looking better. We got all of the rubble out of there and built up the wall. Uh, like I told you, uh, we'll do the windows later, but we will do them. And we'll get the, all that restored, too. Uh, but first, I just want to get the structure restored uh, up to the top. So that's fun. I'm enjoying this. I've been wanting to do this. I've told you guys this before. I've been wanting to do this forever. Um, you know, restore, live in, and restore the Deshong Tower. And we are making it happen. So there you go. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.